Hi, my name is David Grooms and I'm excited today to take you through the Boxing Club software. Now this is some software that um, I have written with a huge amount of help from Adam and Zoe. So thank you very much Adam and Zoe for all of your input into the software. So the purpose of this video really is just to give you an overview of the software so you're able to use that on a day-to-day -day basis. Again, I'm sure there'll be more questions that you have that this video doesn't answer. If that's the case, please don't hesitate to contact me and below this video will be my contact details and I can go into any more depth really into the software and how it works with you um, if you have any questions. So let's just crack on with the software, shall we? Ah, let's hide my face a little bit. First of all, on your desktop, you'll have a, an icon and if you double click on the icon to load the program, this will come up. So this is our opening screen. Uh, reasonably simple, I hope. On the left hand side, we have a list of all your members. So we can um, go to any of the members and call up their details. And on the right hand side, we have um, the members information. So it would probably be easier if I actually uh, create a new member and show you how that happens. So on the top here, we have add new member. There's also a create duplicate member button here. So if you've got um, some brothers, for example, that um, want to join as members, you can set the first one up. And then if you just click create duplicate member, it will copy all of these details, the address, etc., all over to the second person. And then you can just change the first name. So it just makes entering uh, people that live at the same address um, a lot quicker to put on the system. So we click on add new member. And the first thing we do is put in their, their name, um, the address, town, postcode, these are all self-explanatory, the mobile number, uh, any other telephone numbers we have for them. Uh, email address, uh, this is quite important. We, we obviously must have the first name and surname. We really need to get the address in here. But the email means we can um, contact the members uh, on a more regular basis. So by putting the email address in here, it enables us to contact them. So it's quite an important part of the system. Uh, gender, again, either we've got male or female. We have the date of birth. and that will automatically calculate the age. We then have to set the class up that they're going to be part of. So they're either a youth, senior or junior. So I'm a senior. And then we have the membership type. Now the club has currently got the different membership types set up. We can add these or change them, but these are ones at the moment and probably the most common ones we're ever gonna see, which is a coach, a gratis, so people that are free, we have a monthly junior, monthly senior, sorry, monthly youth, standard junior, standard senior, and standard youth. So most people will fit into one of these last three. So these are just pay as you go. So we do standard senior. And as you see here, it's put the rating of £3.50. So every time I visit the gym, I need to pay £3.50. Now if they were a monthly member, you see the rate each time they visit the gym is zero. We move back to the junior is four pound so this is the the rate and we can change that so if we've done a special deal with somebody uh, we can change that um, make that say three pound for each visit we have the date joined so this is automatically set to today's date but we can edit that so if we've got somebody that joined a, a little while ago and we're just adding them to the database we can change that um, the membership status everyone will be current However, if you have a member that um, is going to leave the club but may come back later, we have the ability to um, mark them as old. Uh, there's also a delete option in here, so if we set somebody up by mistake, we can delete them. But most members will either be current or you can mark them as old. And the reason for that is this list here shows the current members. We don't want lots of people that aren't regularly coming to the gym listed here. So we can actually over here show member status we can actually click here and click on old or all or current so at the moment we're on current which is um, showing us everyone really that um, joins the gym at a regular basis uh, the next field here is barcode number 
Now we got membership cards and on those cards is a number and we can either type the number in here or you can just put the card while this box is yeah, the cursor's in this box under the barcode scanner and it will enter a barcode into the system. Um, this obviously is unique to every member. The other option we have here is carded status, whether a recreational or a carded boxer. And then we have the ability to take their picture. Um, now, on the bottom of your screen, there is a camera icon which will load up the camera software. Now, sorry, it's taken a little while, it's because um, I'm actually using the camera to record my face down here. So I'll just explain what it does. Um, what happens, you click the camera, up will come the webcam like it is here. When I'm happy, there's a little button here to click to save the picture. So we just point the webcam at the person, uh, click the take picture, and then over here we can save that picture from the webcam and it'll put the picture in here. So sorry about that, I forgot that I can only use the webcam to do one thing. Uh, so it's just click the camera at the bottom of the screen, take the picture, and then save the picture to the webcam. I'll move my face out here because it's obviously causing some problems on recording this software. Um, here we have notes. And in here, I can uh, put any notes, really, that will come up every time they come into the gym. So I'm going to put in here, um, head. So now every time I join the gym, or come into the gym, this message is going to come up. So we can put as much as we like in here. Obviously, uh, the stuff at the top is what's going to be displayed and easily visible. Um, if you've got a long list, it will need to go down the screen a little bit and scroll. Visits tab, this will actually show me every time I visited the gym. So it'll give me accounts. Um, I've not been to the gym so far because I'm a new member. And uh, so it'll give me account here. It'll tell me the last time I visit and the days since I last trained. Purchases, any purchases I've made will be listed in here. Uh, medical record, here I can put my doctor. And the contact details. And then we have a, a, a questionnaire really about my physical activity. Now these are all defaulted to no. So if everything's clear, you don't need to do anything. But obviously if there is an issue, we need to, to mark it. And the same with the medical questionnaire. They're all answered no, but um, we can obviously make changes to that. Marketing source, uh, we'd like to gather how people found out about the club. So we have the ability to um, select the marketing source and we can also put some notes in there. Next of kin, quite important. Yeah, who's the next of kin, their telephone number and any notes. Uh, safeguarding, now if we need to report um, about safeguarding, there is ability to do that. So this is on this screen. Any competitions that I attend can be entered into the system. So they'll be listed here and we can put the, the details in here by clicking the Add Competition button. Any events that I'm booked on or have attended will be listed here. Any payments I make will be listed here, and also any credit balances. And then the last tab is my disabilities. Uh, so setting up a, a member is quite simple. Um, there's quite a lot there, but normally with a new member, it's just click Add New Member, name and address, telephone number, their membership details, medical record, next of kin, and if there's any disabilities. And then we just click save. So that's member now is, is ready to go into the, the gym. So when I come into the gym, um, what I do would be to scan my barcode. So my barcode is this number here. So I can either put that number in, that's very rare, that's going to happen, that's only if for some reason the barcode can't be read, um, which we really would never have unless it's been damaged, in which case we can issue them with a new number. But we put the barcode number in or we just put the card underneath the barcode scanner. And up come their payment information. So they just swipe the card and up this comes. And on this screen, here we have the attendance record, so it'll tell us 
uh, the last time they visited the gym. Over here we've also got number of visits, day since last train and the last visit as well. So it's quite important information to keep your eye on. Here we'll show any events that they we've got they haven't been booked on. So if they've been booked onto the boxing show, it won't show here. So this is a prompt really. Every time they come in the gym, they zap their card, this screen comes up, we can see how long it's been since the last trained and whether we need to sell them onto one of our um, events. Let's get rid of my face for a moment. We don't need that. The um, rest of the screen here we'll see the date join the membership type and any picture we've taken um, notes here remember we put some notes in on that first screen so they come over so I can see anything here and any purchases they've made today will be listed here and I suppose the most important information is the payments due so here you'll see we've got session owed so if they've been to the gym last week and didn't pay the session fee, they'll actually be listed here. The membership fee, I'm a new member, so I owe the £10 membership fee. And I owe £3.50 for this session. So the total pay is £3.50, which is shown here in the big text. However, I've forgotten about the membership fee. I've only got £3.50 on me. Um, so I can click the owed here. And so it's only asking me to pay £3.50 today. But next time I come into the gym, it's going to remind me about this £10 that I owe for the membership. So the system is quite good at remembering um, the payments. So, but, yeah, the, the person's now said, well, actually, I've, I've found £10 in my wallet. I will pay it tonight. You've already clicked the owed. You can push the pay button. It moves it back again. So it's £3.50. So that's owed and paid. And we can do the same with the session fee. Owed. Um, and we can owe that so you can see there's nothing to pay now or we can switch that to paid if the um, person says well here's £20 and can you keep the other uh, £6.50 on my account we can do that as well so we can put in here there's £6.50 on account so we're looking for a payment of £20 that £6.50 next time um, I come to the gym will be displayed as a credit and so next time I show £6.50 here It'll show the 350 underneath and it will then show that I've got £3 credit. So if people overpay, it's a way of recording that information and it will be taken off the next time they visit. And I then got two options here. I either pay only or pay and admit to the gym. Now the reason for two is sometimes people come in or just want to pay for membership but not go into the gym. Uh, that button um, will allow that to happen. Or they're already in the gym and... Um, they come back and they purchase something uh, you can do just pay only if they are already in the gym and you clip um, this button to admit to the gym it don't ma matter uh, no problem it'll just say that they're already in the gym and it'll just carry on anyway the other options on this screen um, obviously is uh, book an event so we can either scan the uh, event barcode or we can double click and you'll see once we book an event it comes up with uh, some more information required. Because some people can book events under different people's names, um, we can put the name in here. So it'll default obviously to my name. Um, and I can decide how many tickets I want. I want two child, one student, and two adult. If I add that, you'll see the adult student and the child tickets have actually gone into today's purchases uh, they equal 39 pound and I, I now um, owe 59 pound so you can see it's taking those in um, I might also want to uh, purchase some product so there's a stock list here now I could just scan the, the product barcode and it would automatically come up or I can select it from the list here so I'm gonna get a gum shield so the gum shield to come into the list, the price to pay has come up. Now, I may want to give this free of charge, in which case I've got a mark selected line as FOC or free of charge. So I do that, it's now going to um, sell me those um, gum shields, but it's going to be free. Um, I can also delete. 
So by mistake, I've booked the adult there and I can delete that. It just asked me if I'm sure. And we've got the price change again. So hopefully that shows you this screen. Um, there is one other option on here, uh, purchase history. This will actually show you things they purchased in the past. Uh, we just put it out on there um, in case uh, they come into the gym, they zap and they ask a question and you, you can actually see what they've um, ordered in the past. So that's the main part of the system really. I, I will go through that quickly again. Somebody comes into the gym, they zap their card. So I've got my card, I zap it, up comes my details, my picture, my attendance record, any events I haven't booked on, and how much I owe. So here I owe £3 for this session. So most people, this would be fine, you just click pay and admit to gym. Done. Another person comes along, clicks in the gym, pay and admit to gym. Done. Next person comes along, clicks their card, the screen comes up happy with everything here they give me three pound fifty pay and admit to gym so the basic system is quite quick and simple to operate the other options here we got in gym so these are the three people that are currently in the gym so it shows down the bottom here that there's three in the gym this is how much has been paid how much been owed and how much memberships have been paid today I can also add an attendance note if I wish, um, or I can remove them from the gym. So let's say, uh, we pick Callum here, remove from gym. I can keep his attendance record or I can remove it. So say he came in, marked in, and now we're, he's decided to leave two minutes later, something's happened. Um, I can say, um, we don't want to keep his attendance record because we don't want to say he really joined the gym that day. Um, and I can decide whether we're refunding the payment or not. So if I say yes, uh, we put a reason in and save that. And what that does, he's now no longer in the gym. And actually the payment that he made would have been refunded. So we don't account for that. We've also got uh, a list of senior members um, in the gym, youth members in the gym, and junior members in the gym. So during uh, an evening, we can click on any of these to just see how many people uh, have come in and who they are. The other nice thing is um, once we've got this up, we can click on any of these and get their details. So these two are in the gym and I can find out anything I like about them and pull their details up. And I can, if I wish, double click and we go to the payment screen. So. Um, Bodhi here has decided he wants some shorts. We're giving the shorts. He's paid his £15 and it's job done. And if we look at his purchases here, we'll see that he just purchased some shorts. Visits, you'll see that he went to the gym today and he paid £3. Uh, we have no notes, no notes. And over here, we'll actually see the payments he made. So if you ever get somebody come in and question uh, about payments, saying, well, I paid that last month, or last week for example uh, here is every payment that they've made listed by date order so today you see that um, Bodhi paid three pound for session fee and he paid 15 pound um, for product which was his shorts so we go back to all members um, again here there are some more senior members youth members junior members um, if we rather than going through a whole list of members um, if it's a youth we want to find, you can just click on youth and um, scroll through that list. Um, senior members, obviously we can scroll through the senior members list. And we can double click on any of them and it brings up the payment screen. And we can then obviously uh, uh, pay and admit to Jim if we wish. So hopefully you can find your way around the system quite easily. Um, uh, that's the day-to-day -day operation. There are, however, some more options, and these are through the menu up here. So first of all, file. And these are really where we've set the system up. So membership types. So remember there was a number of different membership types, and we use standard senior. So standard senior, 
session rate 350 there's no monthly payment and there's an annual membership fee of 10 pound so that's where we set that up so we had another type of membership um, we could enter the details in here we could click add call it senior member special rate and have a, a rate there of two pound fifty uh, but an annual membership of twenty pound for example so we can change these memberships around as we wish stock here is a list of all our stock items and uh, like hand wrapped you can see how many we've actually sold um, the barcode reference the cost the sales price who the supplier is so you can see as we go through um, we sold a gum shield today remember first of the tenth um, but we sold it we gave it away free of charge but it's still on the list here so you can see we've sold two of them uh, at a value of three pound so if you have a new stock item we can just click add new stock item put a description in we allocate a barcode the same thing if you've got the barcode field um, uh, you know, focused if, the, if your cursor is in the barcode field if you scan the barcode that will automatically come in here you don't need to type it in cost sales price you don't need to put the cost in but that could be useful in the future if we want to see how much profit we made on certain items and supplier again um, we can add suppliers into here events this is where we can add events to the system so at the moment we've got one event it's the boxing show and currently we've sold four of those and actually that was all sold to me today um, and so we say see we sold four uh, value of 27 pound so if we have a new event we can just click add new event we put a description in the date we can give it a barcode um, cost and sales price again so you only need the sales price in here but over on the right hand side we also have options so if there was no options it was just an event and it's five pound for everyone it's job done just put five pound in here if however there's different options like child student adult uh, you know uh, afternoon evening whatever the different options are we can put them in here and we can put the different option prices in so the option prices could all be the same but we just want to list whether they're a uh, child student or adult for example or afternoon event or evening event uh, we can add those in uh, we just save that um, it'll add it to the list and we can then book people on so once we've added a new event in it'll actually display on that payment screen as an event that I haven't been booked onto there's also a button at the bottom print members attending this will actually print out a list of everyone attending the event so when the event comes round we can print this off and we can tick people off that they've actually um, arrived and uh, they had paid for their ticket special rates this system um, enables us to set up special rates for example friday um, is a non-coach led session it's two pound for everybody so we can add a new special rate so this one is my saturday um, special so it happens only on a saturday it's for everybody uh, although we could choose just for seniors youth etc and the special rate I'm put in here is one pound fifty so if anyone comes into the gym on Saturday it will see this and say yeah this special rate it's Saturday as yeah they fit into the all classes so I'm going to charge them one pound fifty this here is a percentage recording this enables us to say record uh, two pound here um, and if I put 50% in what will happen is it will show two pound ask for two pound to be paid to the club but it will only record 50% of that on the accounting uh, this is used for sessions where uh, there's a fee share so a coach will come in um, and they will take 50% of the um, income from that evening so for everyone who comes in and pays two pound the coach gets one pound this enables us to record how much actually is paid to the club so it's 50% uh, 
Um, so here we have the, the Friday one, and you can see on Fridays, anybody that comes in will pay £2, and the club gets 50% of that. Uh, this option here, email members, when we click on this, it will actually open up um, Outlook and it will have all of the email addresses for every member in the system and uh, you can send out an email to every member. Refresh data, um, this shouldn't really be used that often but if at any point the data gets a little bit messy, um, you have some empty uh, uh, members etc, this will just tidy up. So this is just if something goes wrong it just tidies the data up. We then have reports so we have a daily summary so this tells us that there was um, two people in the gym we collected no membership fees we collected six pound in sessions fees 15 pound on products uh, we collected nothing on the events because I didn't actually pay for them um, equaling 21 pound and you can see £21 of that was for the youths. Over here, it shows us the number of members. But this is the total number of members in the club. How many are seniors? How many are youths? How many are juniors? How many are male? How many are female? Again, split, senior, youths, juniors. And how many have got disabilities, uh, physical and mental? And there's also a button here to export to Excel. So if we click this button, it goes off and produces a spreadsheet. And this is really used for doing the accounting side um, of the club. Um, the spreadsheet will actually show all of this information and uh, a lot more really. It shows you um, every single purchase, every bit of attendance. Um, and well let's get it up on the screen so it loads up Excel so you just need to click on the Excel button at the bottom of the screen so it's a summary of um, today the attendance who attended whether they paid or owed membership paid today uh, any monthly payments made any payments made on account uh, any sales that we've made uh, so from an accounting point of view, everything we need is on this spreadsheet. Uh, members list, if we click this, this will just give us a report of all the members in the club. Uh, this is useful to have as a manual backup, should for any reason power be down, for example. At least we've got a list of all the members and we can tick people off. The not seen for four weeks um, produces a report which shows really anybody that hasn't been for a little while. So here we see that Zoe hasn't been to the club for over four weeks. She actually has. What she hasn't done is actually clocked herself in and the, the phone number and email address to, to make contact. And the last option is just the help and it actually gives my mobile number and my email address. So hopefully that gives you a nice overview of how the system works. I hope I've covered everything. Um, but again, if you've got any questions, please do not hesitate to, to contact me and I will happily go through them again with you. Okay, thanks very much. Um, my name is David and thank you for looking at the Boxing Club software.